Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Those that don't know what this channel is, it's Moulds Vlogs. Just want to start off by saying, happy Moulds Vlogiversary. It's officially one year that I've been Moulds Vlogs and it's been great. It's been a really good experience. Just want to say thanks to the 150 subs that I've somehow managed to get in a year. And yeah, just thanks for all the support to anyone who's supported it. So today's episode, I'm going to be going to Queensland Moto Park down in Coulson, Coulson. Queenslanders probably have a different way of saying it, but it's spelt like Coulson, so we'll roll with that. So yeah, it's Monday, they do half days there, or well, half price days, so you pay for a half day and get a full day. So yeah, so you're gonna get the bike onto the ute and make your way down there and hopefully have a good day. to hit the frog and the toad. As you can see, it is an immaculate day. Not a cloud to be seen. Not hot, not cold. Just one of those perfect Queensland days. So I'll go get some fuel in the car and the bike and we'll hit the road. Have a look at this. Doesn't that just look stupidly cool? Ignore how dirty the car is and the bike, but... Super quiet, which is sick. No wind, which is great. So I can only have the GoPro on my chest because apparently there was an accident and the GoPro went into someone's head or something. So I'll have the chest mount on and yeah, it might get a little bit boring because it's probably just all gonna be chest footage. I can't really film myself. I did bring the other camera in the tripod, but I'm not really gonna be able to get any good footage of any of the tracks. So it's just gonna be chest footage. So yeah, let's get the bike off and get on the track.
as you can see from those first few laps, it's very clear that I haven't ridden in way too long because I'm slow as and sketchy as. But it's also very clear that I'm not bike fit at the moment because I got stupid arm pump after those four laps. And yeah, it's definitely a different kind of fitness. But anyway, I'm gonna go do one of the trail loops. They say that they take about 60, 70 minutes. So go do one of those, see how long it takes. And if I've got some time when I get back, I'll do a few more laps on the natural terrain. <laughs>
I've attacked the extremely difficult trail and hill climb. <coughs> I'm gonna have to turn around. It's just getting too gnarly to do by myself without someone giving me a hand, get it up and sort of guiding me. <coughs> I'm gonna hurt myself or my bike otherwise. So I'm gonna turn around and fucking try go back down. Oh, I didn't actually expect it to get this hard because the rest of the trail I've been doing the hard track <coughs> has been pretty mellow so maybe if I come back with a few other lads and yeah do the trail with other people we'll be able to get up it but if I keep trying by myself something bad's gonna happen. back in one piece just that hill climb was a lot harder than I expected it to be going off the rest of the trail but you get that on the big jobs KDM's got a few extra scratches here and there but it's a dirt bike it's what's meant to happen I'm gonna just let it cool down for a bit while I grab a nice cold drink from the canteen and maybe some to eat just so I can reach out the coolant because it was steaming its head off up that hill climb so I'll get a Powerade and something to eat. See how I feel, I might get a few laps back on the natural terrain. <sighs> well, the canteen's actually closed. There's a really cool old Bull Taco 250 down there. Old like, I don't know, probably 70s or 80s. Two banger, it's cool as. <laughs> good kept it shiny side up for most of it got a bunch of hungry animals waiting to be fed there's two other ones hiding somewhere but yeah overall it was a really good day it was good to get a decent ride on the bike I haven't really had a proper ride for like six seven months now like I've had a few rides here and there just up like in the pine forest but other than that nothing really so it was good to actually yeah, get a decent squirt on the Kato. Probably wouldn't really bother going back for the trails at QMP. They're pretty underwhelming. Like, you can go up to Glasshouse, which is like 20 minutes, and they're definitely better trails. So, rather than driving another hour and a half just to do them, I'd rather just go to Glassy. I would like to go back if they do like a ride day with a bunch of bikes going through the trail so I can get to the top of that hill climb. I feel like that's defeated me today, but other than that, probably wouldn't bother. 
wouldn't suck to go back and just spend like a day on the MX tracks and the natural terrain track just to get a bit more comfortable with that style of riding because I'm definitely more of like an enduro trail riding sort of dog, always have been, but it wouldn't, wouldn't suck to get a bit faster and comfortable on tracks like that. So maybe if I go back there, I'll just spend the whole time on the tracks. So yeah, that'll be it. Like always, if you liked the video, make sure to like it. And if you've got anything to say, comment it below. If you do go to QMP and want someone to ride with, definitely hit me up. I'm always keen to go for rides with like people. It's definitely more fun. So yeah, and also remember to subscribe. Thanks guys, see you later.